Hello, I'm Michael Diamond, and you're watching Muscle Central. Okay, since the last Olympia, there's been a lot of uh, criticism thrown at the uh, bodybuilders of today uh, about conditioning, uh, comparing it to the conditioning of the bodybuilders in the early, in the 90s, early 2000s. And a lot of that criticism has come from the bodybuilders from that era, uh, most of them saying that the guys today are unwilling to suffer enough. Uh, I'm guilty of that also. I've, I've said that. I've used the word suffer. But should you really have to suffer to get in contest shape? I don't think suffer is the right word. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It takes work. Now, I, when I competed, and I competed for uh, a stretch of four years, I did a dozen shows. And one thing I always did was I came, on, came into the show, I stepped on stage, condition, low body fat, condition. Now, my first show, I competed about 145 pounds condition. My last show, I competed around 172 pounds condition. Now, where am I going with this? Now, when I, my first show, I competed 145 pounds. When I eventually Started when I started moving up in weight, started adding some muscle, and when I came in at 155 pounds contest day, I wasn't any more than about 170 pounds before I started dieting down for my competition. When I was stepping on stage. Uh, at 160, 165 pounds, I was never more than 175 to 180 pounds before I started dieting down. Uh, where am I going with this? Point I'm trying to make is that I never went over about. The, let me re reword this. When I started. My contest prep, I was never more than about 15 pounds over the weight I ended up stepping on stage at. The problem today is many bodybuilders on their off-season, they'll end up getting 30, 40 50 pounds, or 50 pounds, some even over 50 pounds, over 40 pounds, uh, more than what they eventually are going to step on stage at. Now, if you, if you put on that much weight that you're going to eventually have to strip away to get on con get on stage uh, and look condition contest day. Yeah, you you're probably gonna have to suffer uh, a bit to make it to get to that conditioning. There's no reason to put on an extra thirty forty pounds. To only to die it down, and at the end of the day, maybe you'll be a couple of pounds more than you were more on stage than you were the previous time. What was the purpose of putting on all that extra poundage? Uh, it's needless because it's all oh, <laughs> at the end of the day. Maybe maybe you put on a couple of pounds of muscle, but. You probably could have put on that couple of pounds of muscle without putting on all that extra body weight. 
and then have to suffer to take it off and be able to get a, in the kind of conditioning you need to be to step on stage. Where, I'm, where am I going with this? Plain and simple, these guys in the off season, they're putting on way too much weight. If you don't go overboard in the off season and don't put on too much extra body weight that you're going to have to eventually diet off anyway, stripping down the body fat that you have to be able to get it into good conditioning, good, good enough conditioning to look good on stage, you're not going to have to struggle. You're not going to have to suffer. It would, basically, what I would do is, the uh, initially, through most of the prep, I'm just manipulating my macronutrients, uh, lowering carbs, increasing protein, uh, increasing fats a little bit, and constantly manipulating my uh, macros, increasing the cardio, slowly dropping the body fat. After all, if I'm doing it now, if I'm doing a 12 week contest prep and I need to lose uh, 15 pounds of body fat, that equates to a little bit more than a pound a week. And you shouldn't have to suffer to lose a uh, a pound of body fat a week. So I'm, I'm in initially, in initial phases of my prep, I'm basically just manipulating the macros, the protein, carbs, and fats. As I get closer, you know, you do that for a period of a few weeks, then you might, your, your fat loss might slow down or come to a halt. Then at that point, you just slowly, little by little, cut back calories, and you're going to increase fat burning. You'll, you'll continue to the fat burning process. And really, it's only my last couple of weeks before showtime that it starts to get uncomfortable. Uh, I won't even say suffering. It gets, un it gets uncomfortable. I'm going to restrict my calories uh, a bit more, but not too much. Uh, I don't want to lose... Uh, I, I don't have a lot of body fat to lose, and I don't want to lose muscle. And it's just those last couple of weeks that become a struggle. Uh, to conclude this video... Probably the biggest problem with conditioning uh, with the bodybuilders today is that too many of them are putting on too much weight in the off season. Plain and simple. It's my opinion on it. If you agree or disagree with what I've said, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Once again, this is Michael Diamond, and I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.